Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Cappies. Welcome back, Capricorns. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Cappies. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy ass temple of yours, Cappies, as it take care of you, my loves. Welcome back, my loves. Come on in, have a seat. We're going to see what messages your guardian angels and your ancestors have for you today. We're going to see also what's going on in your love life, Capricorns. All right. Shout out to the Soul Tribe members, gang gang. I appreciate you. Welcome back, Evolving Spirits. I love you all so much. I appreciate you all. I have so much fun with you. I appreciate you, my aka unicorns, Evolving Spirits. All right. Shout out to the Soul Tribe, gang gang. If you would love to join the Soul Tribe, Cappies, definitely don't forget to click that join link down below. It does provide you unlimited access to personal readings with me, where you get unlimited discounts each and every time you book a session with me rather if it's in regards to a spiritual coaching for your birth charts or any personal reading all right you get a discount you also get discounts on love live stream questions when i go live and email questions as well okay so any type of booking you do with me you automatically get a discount when you become a soul tribe member also we do have our own private community capricorns where i do post daily content there as well my loves all right so come on over and join us, okay, on the other side, okay? So we're going to again start out with a traditional tarot deck here, Cappies, okay? And see what's coming towards you in regards to love here, closing out the month of September and going in the month of October, all right? And definitely stick around. We're going to use an oracle deck to get some word advice from your guardian angels and your ancestors as well, my loves, all right? So let's see here. Source angels, ancestors of the highest light, please protect my space and aura as I channel the messages here today for Capricorn placements, what do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and South Node placements? What's coming towards Capricorns for love? What's coming towards Capricorn placements here for love? All right, Cappies, let's see what we have here. We have the Nine of Swords here. This is air energy here. Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra energy here, okay? Some of you all, this particular person here uh, is someone that's just not been able to, you know, focus here or have a steady sleeping pattern here, okay? This person definitely from time to time, um, they do a lot of thinking here, okay? Uh, some of y'all, this particular energy here it may do a lot of worrying here as well when it comes to a particular situation or circumstance here, okay? So let's see what else comes out here in regards to love here. Wow, yes, this person is definitely in their head a lot. It's crazy how we have another picture here that is referencing to, uh, you know, the structure of the brain here, okay? So that may be very significant, the brain here, okay? All right, Um I'm hearing surgeon, okay, or surgery, okay? Someone may be getting a, a brain surgery here or a hat, okay? That's very significant, or they are a surgeon. I heard that as well. So some of you are this particular person here, Capricorn, may be a surgeon, okay? If I'm even saying that correctly, or a doctor here, okay? Um, so, however, that was random. So that was being channeled out. I literally heard that in my head. So I know that's for someone. Okay, let me digress here. All right. So, however, we know the eight of ones here, it talks about communication. And it is going to be some fast movement communication here that's going to be coming in here at Capricorns. Okay. Some of y'all, this communication here is going to be coming in from a fire sign, a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries here. Okay, but this is someone here at first, they was in their head so much about coming towards you or communicating to you about whatever this is. Okay, this could have been something that, you know, they could have even just been simply nervous. Okay, this could be someone that is even traveling towards you. For some of you all Capricorns, they could be at a distance from you here as well. You could have met this person online. Okay. Um, but however here, this is someone they definitely, I feel like may have experienced here through their own past relationships here, some, you know, ways that have may have 
hurt or harm them mentally here where this is what gives them that amnesia or that anxiety here okay um, yeah i i heard amnesia that's like clinical doctor medical you know words or terms right so some of y'all this person could be a doctor or you may uh, or going to school to be a doctor or, you know, something in that event or regarding a doctor or a surgeon here is uh, significant and important for someone. OK. All right. But again, there is definitely someone here that is now going to be communicating and this is going to come in quickly, but it's going to be here for the long term. OK. Yeah. Wow. Look at this. The Ten of Pentacles here. OK. This is definitely someone that is ready to basically hear loves that wants to settle down with you. OK. We have the Ten of Pentacles here. Some of y'all, this person could be an earth sign like yourself, Capricorns. OK. This could be a Virgo. OK. This could be a Taurus or a Capricorn here, loves. OK. But this is like the Five of Pentacles at the top and the five of pentacles down below as above so below here this is definitely a union of look some of y'all are going to be blending families here okay all right this is beautiful all right and this is a particular situation where this was meant to happen this way of course this was in divine's order here okay this is how this communication is going to be coming in here but this is something that may have took quite some time for this person to come towards you or for you to just, you know, get this communication coming in here, okay? So this is definitely what's to look forward to here in the future. This is going to be a balanced relationship and established foundation that you two are definitely going to be able to have the opportunity to build together. Very stable, very wealthy here coming together as a family here or even starting your own family too together here. Some of y'all may be getting proposed to, okay, you may be getting some communication in regards to that here okay it's going to be different for everyone but that is oh my goodness that's going to be very much for some of you all surprising here okay i don't even feel like some of you all is aware of this i still feel like for some of you all and others of you this is new for you okay and i don't know why i'm feeling like this is going to be far pushed out for some of you all as well meaning like some of y'all could be talking to this person right now or just recently met this person and it's been a couple of weeks for some y'all a couple of months and some y'all almost a year or two and this is what you two are now wanting to plan for in the future okay and others of y'all like i said this is someone that you are now about to be communicating with here that you are about to meet here for the first time others of you all you two have been communicating a lot here online back and forth with each other and again you may be at a distance from this particular person in here but i do want to clarify here the nine of swords capricorns for you and then we'll move forwards and kind of see how this person is feeling towards you or this connection here right so let's see here Kathy's. wow beautiful spread here so far definitely if that's resonating for you capricorns don't forget to like subscribe all right hit that big fat thumbs up all right, show spirit some love. All right, and again, definitely join that soul tribe, okay? Because my goodness, um, the reflection of the readings here, okay? When I do the readings for uh, the soul tribe or the evolving spirits here, it'd be on a whole nother level, okay? And this is just kind of, you know, reminding me of the reading I've done here um, recently for the evolving spirits here, Capricorns, okay? But this was good. It got a little deep, okay? Let's just say that. But let's go ahead and clarify the nine of swords here, Cappies. What do we have here for my unicorns? Clarify the nine of swords here, please. And I am available for personal readings, Capricorns, okay? If you would love to book a personal reading with me, all that information is down below in the description box, loves. Okay, whoa. All right, let's see what came out here. We got a couple of cards here. We have the three of ones here, fire energy here, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and um, Leo. I'm sorry, excuse me. I am, Look, someone may be, yeah, this is an energy. I'm like, what is going on, Capricorns? Whoever this energy is here, I feel like they're kind of like a back and forward kind of energy because all of a sudden it's like I'm starting to stumble over my words and I'm like, what is going on? I am perfectly fine here. It's like I can pull a tug and pull or push and pull energy here. 
Okay, so this particular person here that you are engaging here with Capricorns, this is what I was mentioning earlier where they were kind of in their heads on, on how they were going to come towards you and communicate here with you here for some of you all in the future. And it's like now, you know, I'm starting to energetically feel their energy going back and forward here with contemplating for others of you all here, okay? Yeah, because there's a waiting energy here with the Three of Wands, which talks about, you know, this person is meditating, they're waiting for their ships to come in here, okay? And as they are waiting for the opportunities or the seeds that they planted here, they, you know, they patiently wait, okay? And do things to allow them to make sure that they're on the right path and they're balanced. So when these opportunities come in, or you, you see those ships back there, how they coming in here. So in the meantime, this person is being patient. They're waiting, okay? They're definitely tapped in with their ancestors or spirit guides with the birds flying around here, right? So this is how I feel like this person is here. And this has been such something on their mind and in their heart for so long to come and do. Yeah, we got the cherry card. There is definitely someone that's going to be traveling towards some of you all here, okay? They may be moving from another city, another town, another state, hill, another country for some of you all okay all right and then we have the seven of swords here okay air energy aquarius gemini and libra so I remind you this is all the cards that came out just to clarify the nine of swords here okay capricorn so this tells me that this was someone here who uh you know what they experienced in their past here was someone being deception okay they've done some things to this particular person that you are engaging here with capricorns for some of you all that where they were portrayed where they were lied to right with the seven of swords how he has his fingers crossed here okay i love these artworks of the cards here uh, however, Capricorns, you know, just showing this picture, you can tell this person was not being honest, okay? They were doing tricks for trades, doing different things, you know, that they knew that was not of, you know, their higher self here, basically, right? So they just done it and was just doing it to be doing it, I feel here. Yeah, and there it goes again. Another picture here with, you know, this being a mind thing. This has been something that was causing now inner conflicts with the wands because the swords is what is mentally in the mind what's going on here, okay? This is the wands, okay? So this is telling me that Okay, it took this person, of course, like I mentioned, a long time to just come to realization here. I feel like another spiritual awakening is what I am discussing now with the evolving spirits here. Okay, that we have multiple um, transitions and transformations of uh, spiritual awakenings. Okay, which is it's like meant to set a, a shift for our DNA. Thank you, spirit. So it has to happen every so often or every once a while or every once a year, maybe every three months. It's every so often. And it's when we least suspect it is what I'm trying to break that down for the soul tribe as I definitely providing them this type of content. So that's definitely something that if you all are experiencing that as well, you will be welcome to join. You click that join link down below Capricorn. It's just crazy how you're reading keeps reflecting on the week's topic here that we are discussing we've been going over this topic here uh since the beginning of september and i'm now being able to see it actually play out here in your reading here so this is this is beautiful at the same time but it's like wow okay so this is definitely in regards to your person here and what they have been processing here and some of y'all this is you Okay, because you are going into a relationship here for some of y'all where this is something that you haven't been done in a while. You, it's been a while since you dated. It's been a while since you've been in a relationship. Some of y'all could have, you know, uh, divorced, okay, and you're separated from your spouse or your ex-spouse. So, you know, just even talking to someone or having that in your mind is something that, you know, that she was in, even in your head about here a lot, okay? So, you know, it's going to be something that this is that Mercury energy now where we're doing a lot of reflecting, and this is what the Mercury retrograde helps us to do, right, Capricorns? It helps us to sit back, reflect, and revise on our own choices and where we're at and where we're headed and where we're going now, right? So this is important for, I feel like, both parties here to be able to do an experience here, right? So let's see here particularly what this person wants to say here, okay? We're going to use the Hidden Truth Oracle deck here, Cappy. Definitely, again, if this is resonating for you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Loves, definitely 
join family and subscribe my loves all right and i am available for personal readings if you would love to book a personal reading capricorn all that information is down below in the description box my loves all right so let's see what this person wants to say or reflect on right now here wow i have i feel you leaving me behind here okay wow so some of y'all this person literally energetically here it was feeling you leaving them behind okay as i mentioned here with this chariot card some of you all this particular person here is either you know leaving okay from a particular relationship here as i mentioned from their particular partner or past partner or ex and they're coming towards you capricorns Others of you all, you are leaving a particular person here who was causing conflicts, you know, not being honest, having this deception energy here, done things or to portray you behind your back here. And, you know, you've made up your mind here and now you want to set yourself free from these thoughts, these feelings or these forms of manipulation that this person may have done for quite some time now here for some of y'all being this being your partner here right so you had to manifest and think about this and you know gather yourself because to some of you all this could have been like i said the uh mother or the father of your child here this could have been your ex right your ex-wife your ex-husband here for some of you all but this was something that was thought about for a long time here you know it would cause a lot of problems mentally on your health for some of you all is why we kept showing the structure of the uh the brain okay so make sure you're watching your thoughts love because your thoughts you can easily manifest that and it's not even here yet especially if they're not you know so much as positive thoughts try to remain positive here okay but we have this particular person stating here that i feel you leaving me behind because some of y'all have made that decision to remove yourself from this particular person from this marriage or from this relationship and now this person can feel you capricorns leaving this person here behind all right so let's move forward to love's beautiful spray here definitely spoke a lot of volumes wow cappy got deep here almost feels like a personal rating okay but let's but and i love it when it gets that way don't get me twisted okay i love it because that just realized and i and i kind of come back down to myself okay and i'm like wow okay i almost felt like i got really deep into that as if it was a personal reading because i have to dive a little deeper of course in personal reading so it's like that's the beginning of that about to go all the way in right so wow definitely if that resonated for your current situation or circumstance definitely comment down below provide me your feedback okay definitely don't forget again to like subscribe hit the notification but we would love to have you here okay so let's get some word advice from your guardian angels capricorns okay and your spirit guides and spirit team and see what they would love to inform you during this time for whoever's experiencing this currently or just listening in here on the message today wow so we have two cards that just crazy jumped out here. So give me one second. It's like they knocked over my own here, okay? All right. So the first card we have come out is control, okay? That's the number eight, which we know the number eight talks about abundance, infinite, okay? Infinity here, okay? And this is control. So when we know I'm with, dealing with the number eight here, eight talks about, you know, leadership, karma, okay as well right having good karma bad karma because it's the infinite sign right so this is a situation just know that capricorns you cannot control things that are not you know that are not in your hands or for you to control okay so don't try to cause yourself to overthink is where we was having that nine of swords energy don't cause yourself to try to overthink this particular you know person or relationship allow things to come naturally and unfold naturally for you okay without you trying to put your hands on a situation where you don't have the control to be able to do so okay and then we have rebuild yes that's what i was picking up here for from the blending family here for some of you all and others of you are rebuilding your family okay your home okay that had to be broken down some of y'all this is definitely meant to happen so you can re-establish and rebuild your home in in a righteous way in a way that's going to balance and even things out for you and your family here so it's time to rebuild and that starts first within you see how she's pointing at her chest her heart here okay you having to start within so this can manifest physically here 
on the outside. But first you have to rebuild your heart, your, you know, your mental state, right? Your health, okay? Everything has to be within, build and rebuild here for you so it can start working and manifesting for itself here on the outside here, Capricorns, okay? Wow, beautiful spread here again. Once again, my loves, definitely if that resonated for you, don't forget to like, subscribe, Capricorns, okay? Hit that notification bell. Join me during the week. I do go live in the Rising for Wake and Tarot. If you're new here, definitely select the notification bell and have your uh, notifications adjusted so that way you can get notifications for when I do go live. I also go live on every Saturday night for love live stream questions. If you would love to uh, ask a love question or have any questions, or concerns in regards to your own spiritual path or journey, you can definitely email me your question, all right, and I will uh, provide you a number. So that way you can remain anonymous on Saturday Night Live when I'm answering your question, and you can also have a timestamp by your number. So you can always be able to have the opportunity, Capricorns, to go back and reflect on your question, okay? So email me your question, screenshot your payment, and we will definitely provide you that number because there's some crazy scammers out here. So that way you can remain anonymous as well there, my loves okay thank you all so much cappies definitely if you enjoyed the reading here today again don't forget to click that join link and join the soul tribe thank you all evolving spirits shout out to the soul tribe gang gang and welcome to the ones that are new here i hope you all enjoyed yourselves and the readings here today and i'll definitely talk to you guys soon i love you cappies Mwah! bye bye